All right, so what we're gonna do in this video is talk about five different shortcut keys that can save you a bunch of time when working in Cinema 4D. Now, some of these might seem a little bit basic, but if you're not using these, I promise you they will help you work significantly quicker and faster. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so as I mentioned, what we're gonna be doing today is taking a look at different shortcut keys we can use to help us work faster and more efficiently. And ultimately, what you need to figure out is what tools, what commands, what parts of the user interface you're using over and over again, and then find quicker and more efficient ways uh, to find those tools or those commands. Um, and so the first one, probably the most obvious, is going to be navigation. So if you're using these tools up here to navigate, do not recommend using those at all. Instead, there are really two options for you. You can use the Alt or Option key and your three mouse buttons. So Alt in the left mouse button will orbit, Alt in the middle mouse button pans, Alt in the right mouse button zooms. You can also just use your scroll wheel, of course. Now the other option is to use the left mouse button and your one, two, three key. So one in the left mouse button pans, second or two in the left mouse button zooms, three in the left mouse button orbits. Now I think that um, set of shortcut keys is better if you're using say a two button mouse, uh, maybe like the Apple Magic Mouse for instance, or if you're using a pen tablet. So those would be my first recommendation for shortcut keys to um, really get used to using. And if you're not using a mouse, by all means, get one. Even if it's you know a cheap wired mouse or a cheap Bluetooth mouse, that's gonna help you significantly. Ultimately, we want to be able to keep our mouse in the middle of our perspective view um, as much as possible. So anything that takes us away to say change modes, come over here to make selection or switch to our different uh, move, rotate, and scale tools, those are gonna be um, shortcut keys we want to remember and use to save ourselves the time because ultimately that time will start to add up. Okay, so you know, saving yourself kind of one time from coming up here and changing modes, although really there aren't sh shortcut keys for these modes, though I will show you how you could set a shortcut key. Um, but yeah, all the way over here, you know, you're going to save yourself one second. It may not seem like a lot, but over the course of a day, a week, a month, or longer, it's going to add up. Okay, so let's start with our different selection tools. Um, the ones that I use the most are going to be our brush selection and rectangle selection. And the shortcut keys for those, really anything you can find, is if you hover over um, the key, it will show you the name of the tool as well as the shortcut key if there is one. So we can see that lasso selection um, is eight, though that's not really one of the ones I wanted to show you. It's really brush and rectangle, um, but it does go along with it. So brush selection, is actually nine, um, rectangle selection is zero. So if you want to switch between your different selection tools, as we saw, lasso is actually eight, nine will be our brush tool, 10 will be our rectangle tool. And so that will stop us from having to come up here and change to our most basic selection tools. Along those same lines are our move, rotate, and scale tools. Like I said, those are going to be E, R, and T. So move is E, R, it is rotate and T is scale, okay? And I think um, those are some of the most important shortcut keys after uh, navigation. So I would throw those up there, probably more important than our selection tools because you can actually select objects using your, your move tool, your rotate tool, or your scale tool. So um, I do think those can be more important. And between those two sets of um, shortcut keys, we've pretty much gotten rid of the need to come here and switch between a lot of these different options here, which is great, especially on a large monitor. Um, I actually have an ultra wide monitor, which is why sometimes things go off to the side here. Um, and so having to move my mouse all the way to the left or all the way to the right, you know, can take a lot longer than if I was say working on a smaller screen. Um, I like having that extra screen space, don't get me wrong, uh, but that's why shortcut keys are even more important. Now. Um, I did mention our modes here, um, which I do find really important. Don't have shortcut keys. If you want to assign a shortcut key, what you do is you go to Window, Customization, Command Manager. This will actually allow you to do a couple of things. Search for different commands or figure out what key um, or shortcut key is assigned to something. So if you were 
um, trying to figure out, you know, for instance, V is I'll show you as a shortcut key. And honestly, it isn't listed here. You can see all the different um, uh, shortcuts that use the letter V. So we could come in here and try and find our points mode. Okay, and see it's not coming up at all, maybe because I have that. So we have our points right here, um, and then we can assign the shortcut down here. So type in what you would want it to be, click assign, and there you go. Honestly, if it was me, since I don't use my one, two, and three keys to um, navigate, that's probably what I would assign to my point edge and polygon mode. So that's what I would do, um, but you know, maybe that won't work for you. Some other very important shortcut keys. Um, another one that I think is really important is when you're modeling. Okay, now we could go to model mode here, and I do think layouts and customizing those can also help in terms of working efficiently. Um, but uh, we can do a lot of these, access a lot of those same modeling tools by just using shortcut keys. Now, honestly, we get a lot of those modeling tools on the left here, uh, and so that can be useful. However, um, you can just hit M on your keyboard and you will pull up a list of a lot of the most common modeling commands. Now you have to be careful because if you move your mouse after, uh, the list will go away. So you can select, um, you know, hit M and then kind of figure out what you need if you don't already know it. But if you do, then you can quickly um, combine those two keys together. So M to pull up this list and then, you know, Q for weld for instance. So I could come here, select these two points, um, hit M, then Q, if I can hit Q, and then weld these together, okay? Um, another important shortcut key is spacebar. So spacebar allows you to toggle between um, your previous used tools. So I hit spacebar, that switched me from weld um, to my rectangle selection tool. And now if I hit spacebar again, you can see I'm back in my weld. And so that can be a very quick way to toggle between two tools and do something very repetitive like welding. And it's essentially using our, you know, last used tools over here and just kind of going back and forth between these two. So that can be another very important shortcut key, especially for repetitive tasks. Okay. So another important shortcut key um, I wanted to talk about, and I'm probably gonna go over five here, even though I said that in the thumbnail, um, is S, okay? S, H, frame selected for S, frame all for H can be very, very useful, especially in a complicated scene, which I don't have here. Uh, but not only does that shortcut key work in our perspective view, it will also work in our object manager, and that, can be very, very helpful for finding an object in your object manager if you have a bunch of objects, if you say brought in a CAD file or, or something like that. So just to kind of replicate that, I have a bunch of nulls. And rather than have to scroll through this long object uh, list of, of nulls to find this cube, all I need to do is make sure my mouse is in my object manager here. And if I hit S, okay, it will find that object for me. And this is a huge time saver uh, when it comes to finding objects that in a scene that is not well organized, um, that maybe somebody's given to you uh, or, or whatever the case may be. But yes, I've used that a lot. Okay, the last shortcut key I wanna talk about today uh, is one that maybe you've had issues with if you're coming from say Adobe After Effects or something like that when you're animating something. And that is when you try to hit spacebar in order to play back in animation. So if you try that normally, nothing is going to play back. And if you hover over the play button here, you will see the shortcut key for um, playing back in animation is F8. Well, that is true, unless of course we have our timeline open. If we have our timeline open and it's raised up just a bit more, and now we hit spacebar with our mouse inside of it, you can see that it does play. Uh, and so this is just another example of our shortcut keys being contextual, meaning it depends where our mouse is. We saw that with S, it works in the object manager as well as in our perspective view. And spacebar does something different here in our timeline than it does in our regular perspective view.
All right, well, hopefully you enjoyed that video. As I said, some of those shortcut keys are, are kind of basic. Most people do pick them up and use them, but hopefully you found one or two that you weren't using previously that you can use to help work quicker and more efficiently. So that will do it for this video. Until next time, take care.